Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth, I am Sananda. Once again, it is with great joy that I am here. It is with great joy that I bring all my love, all my energy to each inhabitant of this planet. The changes are strong. If you ask yourselves when everything will happen, I answer, everything is already happening. The transmutation of energies, the balance of energies is happening. The entire transformation of this planet is the physical way of generating the energy necessary to fight what needs to be fought. Then many of you may think, what do you mean, Gaia makes so many children suffer, so many lose their homes, so many lose everything, is this a positive way to transmute negative energy? I will answer to you that you need to stop always considering yourselves eternal sufferers. As has been said here and repeated countless times, everyone is where they need to be. Before you judge Father or Mother God, judge Gaia, or judge anyone, I ask you a question, does each of you know each of the souls that are there in that place? Does each of you know the story of that soul, what it planted and what it is reaping now? No, you don't know. You limit yourself to thinking that everything that happens is for evil, that everything that happens is to generate suffering, as a punishment. But it's not like that, I can say that every great suffering corresponds to a great lesson. Nothing is in vain, nothing is punishment. So if those souls that are there at that point, where nature has become austere and violent, are not poor things going through all that, they are receiving the harvest of what they sowed. But since you don't see anything, you just judge, nature is being merciless and evil. So I can tell you that you learn to live with it because the process will not start, the process has already begun. And the balance of energies necessary for the planet is already happening. Many may claim that you caused all of this. The planet's climate change is the result of everything you caused. I will say that it is not completely untrue. A large part of what you are going through, of all this imbalance, yes, you generated it, but another part did not. Understand the following, you have created immense and powerful egregors for a long time, for eons on this planet, it will not be a simple rain that will destroy these egregors. A force is necessary, a contrary energy of the same size or greater, to destroy each of these egregors. And I can tell you that the egregors that are being destroyed are very small. Understand as you wish. We never said here that the process would be easy to go through. On the contrary, lately we have repeated exhaustively that difficult times will come, and you prefer not to believe, you prefer not to understand, you prefer not to accept. I just say that each of you will reap what is proportional to what you need to learn, nothing more and nothing less. The obstacles that appear on your journeys are not punishments, they are points of attention, they are points of reflection, so that you do not repeat mistakes from the past recent or not. Do not see obstacles and problems as insurmountable stones, see, each of them as lessons, showing you, look here is a lesson you cannot repeat. And the moment you stop and listen to your hearts, ask, what lesson should I learn? What did I do to generate this obstacle? What did I do to generate this huge rock that I can't get out of the way? And if you ask with your heart, you will hear the answer. And then you can make the decision that is necessary in the case, simply sit and look at that insurmountable rock and die there or hire someone who can come and take it out of your way, metaphorically speaking. Don't be scared by the obstacles, don't be scared by the lessons, they will no longer last. You will not have another incarnation on this planet to dissolve the lessons, they are coming quickly, they are showing themselves fully, and you just need to look them in the face face the problems, face the obstacles and ask with your heart what to do to get out of them. Only that. You don't have to wait long, unless you want to sit on the side of the road and wait for a miracle. It may even come, but you will need to plant it for the miracle to come. So the moment is not to wait for what is to come, the moment is to live in the present, live in the moment, live what comes your way and that you realize that there is a point to be crossed. Great, 
then it's time to sit down and ask your heart how to overcome that obstacle. When I say listen to your heart, you can listen to the higher self, you can listen to us, you can listen to whoever you want. Just put yourself in your heart and ask the question. And I guarantee you, it may not come as an immediate answer, but it will come, clear and crystal clear. Because there is no time for us to keep playing guessing games with you, showing symbols, showing shapes, so that you understand the answer. We also have to be very quick in the responses we give you, so that you can take this obstacle and overcome it, so that new obstacles appear, and in this way, you can increasingly learn lessons and evolve. There is no time for games, there is no time for guesswork, there is no time for you to spend time and time trying to understand where the problem is. And I guarantee you, we will be quick, we will be extremely quick to tell you what that obstacle is. Now, what you do with it, that's your choice, that's your truth, that's your conscience, that's your evolution that will say, I understand, I'm going to make a decision. Great, don't expect us to make the decision for you, the decision will always be yours, because the choices are always yours. But for sure, you will know exactly what the problem is, so that you can treat it properly, so that you can address it urgently and effectively resolve it. And then we will once again talk about whether you listen to us or not. This subject is already getting boring and quite repetitive, and many can't stand to hear it anymore. We don't have much of a problem with that, we will be as annoying as necessary, so that you understand, so that you can effectively reach us. If you get tired and don't want to hear this anymore, simply don't listen. For those of us who are bothering to repeat this over and over again, perhaps there is a serious point of your attention that you don't want to give due importance to. We don't care about pleasing them, we have to show them the way. And this has been a path that you have not wanted to take, because you have tried so many times and nothing has succeeded. So I tell you, until you empower yourself, do not feel worthy, do not feel ready to hear our answer you will hear nothing, you will understand nothing. I guarantee this, those who never gave up, may not even hear us speak, but their hearts speak. And there is not one of you who does not listen to your own heart, because it is part of you, it is not outside. Insistence and trust get you what you want. The problem is that you are so tired of so many things said and not seen, that you don't believe in anything anymore. It's a shame, because those who believe in what they can't see are moving forward, they're growing, they're evolving. And you who doubt, who do not think you are ready and who do not make the slightest effort to be ready, will reap what you are sowing. Nothing beyond that. Don't wait for things to get easier every day, on the contrary, every day they will become more difficult, because now will be the time for you to apply everything you have learned. It will be time for them to live the way they were taught. Whoever acts in these two ways will get through everything on their feet, even if the world around them falls, they will get through everything on their feet. Now, if you are unable to live what you have learned, then your journey will indeed be very difficult. The earth is transforming and this transformation is necessary to eliminate the egregors that you created. So the trend will never be improvement. Now those who follow the correct path that we guide, will not go through any of this, because they will deserve, at a certain point in the journey, to leave for the fifth dimension. And those who remain here, still wondering whether they should believe or not, will live whatever has to be lived, no one is free from anything. And I would really like each one of you to just keep in mind that everything you are going through or will go through is the result of your soul journey. There is no escaping it. Just learn to solve problems and keep walking. Sitting and crying will definitely get you nowhere.